Hi everyone, welcome to Ram's Music Tech. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can use the input filter in PreSonus Studio One to custom split and filter the key range of your MIDI keyboard to play a contact instrument that has key switches for articulation. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to be notified of future videos that I will be uploading. All right, let's get going. I've added a contact instrument track and loaded a violin ensemble instrument. I've named the track as violin. Now, in case you have a 49 key MIDI keyboard, which is just four octaves, the lowest key that you would be hitting is C1. So if I hit the key C1, as you can see on the keyboard of contact, uh, it's actually not assigned to any note. And then uh, C2 is one octave higher, it's still not there. C3 will play a note in the key range, as you can hear. Then C4. And C5 will be the highest note of your 49 key uh, MIDI keyboard. You still have one more octave that you need to go up to. And also you have the key switches which are coming much lower in the range of C0 to F0, the six articulations. In case you want to play live or record a sequence and change articulations using the key switches, that's what we can achieve using the input filter. You need to introduce the input filter under note effects to the track. So I'm adding the input filter. Now I need a range of say G1. I'll tell you why it's G1 and all about. Now the reason why I'm starting from G1 is the lowest note on a 49 key MIDI controller would be C1. Okay, and if I play G1 now. You can see the G1 is playing on the input filter. The input filter actually restricts the notes that it will receive for the track. So any note outside this range, the key range that you can see here, will neither play nor record onto the track. So the reason I have restricted this to G1 is because the notes C1 to F1, I want to reserve for the key switches, which we will be, will be doing on a separate track, which I'll show you next. So for playing the notes, of the instrument, I've put a range from G1 to G8. Now, if I play G1, it's still playing the G1 here, which has no note. It's this first note of the range of keys on this instrument is G2, which is this. If you see my mouse, there. So the, what you need to do now is we need to transpose this track. Let's look at the left on the inspector. I'm going to transpose this track by 12 semitones, which is one octave. So that when I play G1, you see, I'm actually playing G1. If you see the input filter window, the note that I'm playing is G1. But the note that's actually getting played is G2, which is the first note on the range of keys on the contact instrument while in ensemble, which is what we want. And that's because we have transposed this track by 12 semitones, which is one octave. So the last key on a 49 key MIDI controller say would be C5 so if I play C5 note that's played on the contact instrument is C6 because it's one octave higher which means we have covered almost the entire range there's just a couple of keys at the end that you might not be able to play with the 49 key keyboard but with the 61 key keyboard even that will get covered uh, so we pretty much uh, dealt with the entire range of keys on this instrument for the playing of the instrument. Now, what do we do for the key switches? We introduce a new track. I'm just going to say add instrument track. So this is a blank instrument track. And I'm going to name this track key switches. So we've got a key switches instrument track, which isn't assigned to any instrument as yet. If you come to the left on the inspector, you can see outputs and inputs of this uh, instrument track. I'm going to assign this instrument. If you go to the field out, click the down arrow and assign it to contact. Both these instrument tracks are now routed to this contact instrument. This track, if I play, say, C3, it plays the actual C3. If I play C1, it still doesn't serve the purpose that we want to. We want to play the key switches. So what we'll do is we will transpose this track, the key switches track, by 12 semitones down, which is one octave down. 
what this does is if I play C1, there you go, it now plays the key C0, which is the first articulation key switch. All right, but as I go higher on this keyboard, it's playing all the other keys as well. It's also playing the, the notes. We don't want that. We want this track only for key switches. That's where the input filter comes into play again. So we're going to introduce the input filter for this track as well. And we've going, we're going to restrict the keys from C1 to F1. Why C1 to F1? Because the key switches are ranging from C0 to F0, just six keys. The lowest note on our 49 key MIDI controller is C1. There you go. So if you see here, let me shift this range so you can see clearly. There you go. There you go. We've got on the input filter our range from C1 to F1, which are these six keys. When I play C1, it's playing C1 on the input filter, it's playing C0 on the contact instrument. The keys C1 to F1 will be received by the second track, which is the key switches. Anything above that will be received only on the first track, which is the violin track, right from G1, which actually plays G2 here. You see, so I'm playing G1 now, it's receiving G2 on this track. I'm playing F1 on the second track, it's receiving the last articulation switch, which is Pizzicato. Now, let's say you want to play the key, you want to play the violin track with the key switches. It's easy. Just record enable both the tracks. Let's click record and see how we can play different notes and change key switches at the same time. That's sustain, that's for the piano, that's for Zando, staccato, that's tremolo, that's pizzicato. All the violin keys that I played, I've got recorded to the first track named Violin. The key switches have been recorded in the second track named Key Switches. I'm just playing it back. Thank you for watching the video folks i uh, hope this helped and uh, please put comments under the video on anything that you would experience on this and any suggestions that you may have any questions that you may have and uh, do subscribe to my channel definitely and uh, look forward to further videos so enjoy music making have a good day bye